want to spend a few minutes talking about bracketing with the Nikon D5200. Bracketing is the uh, setting that allows you to take up to three shots of varying exposure for the same scene. Now commonly this is used to create HDR images. I'm not talking about using the in-camera HDR. That's different. It really only takes two images and uh, does some post-processing magic and it does a decent job but if you want serious control over the way your HDR images look um, and there are other reasons to use bracketing as well you're going to want to use bracketing now I have a tip here for when you're using bracketing with the D5200 and that is to set your function button um, to allow you to quickly set your bracketing now I've already done that let's look at how to do that if you press menu and I am in the custom menu settings and I go to controls and over assign function button. This is that little white button on the side of the camera um, that by default is set for ISO sensitivity, but you can change it to a variety of different options, including HDR, whether or not you want to tack on a raw file real quick or bracketing. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and set OK. And certainly I would, depending on the type of shooting you're doing, change this from time to time. If you know you're about to go out and shoot a bunch of HDR images, go ahead, or a bunch of bracketed images for HDR, go ahead and set it to bracketing. If you're going to be just kind of standard shooting, walking around, I think ISO sensitivity is a very handy um, setting and, and makes it easy to change it quickly. So I'm going to press OK. Now, what that means is when I press in on the function button on the side of the camera, automatically on the back this little info screen lights up and bracketing off is highlighted. I can now start to rotate my command dial and you can see those little exposure indicators moving further and further apart. This is letting you know that it's going to take three exposures. I'm currently set in manual mode. So it's suggesting or it's saying that my first exposure, my middle exposure is actually just overexposed slightly. And then um, I think I have this now about almost two stops. Um, and my high exposure is going to be um, up here, about two stops overexposed, and my underexposure is right here. Now it changes this exposure by varying the shutter speed only because you don't want any weirdness with aperture and depth of field changing from image to image when you sandwich these three. Um, and ISO 2, it leaves that alone. So it just changes the shutter speed. So there are times where um, you may find yourself needing a tripod if your high exposure is a longer shutter speed. Keep that in mind. But for short bits, um, hand holding is usually fine and a decent uh, HDR program will align the images for you. And that's all I need to do. Now, um, actually sorry, one more step. You do need to make sure that you are in release mode of continuous, either low or high. Um, and to tap to take those three pictures. If you're just in single shot, it's just going to take a single picture and be kind of confusing. So let's go ahead and take our three pictures. I would actually let me put it back in high. Less gap between the pictures means less movement, less alignment later. And there they are. And you probably heard that third image was a little bit um, slower because it was doing that high exposure of kind of a darker area. I just got it pointed into the corner of the kitchen here. Um, and it needed to adjust the shutter. Let's review these images real quick. Here is one image at 1 15th of a second, 1 160th of a second, or 160th of a second, and 1 50th of a second. So there are our three images. Um, and now we can bring those into a program like HDR or sorry, um, Photomatix or another HDR program and create a masterpiece. So I hope this little bracketing tip was helpful. I'm going to have more of these coming soon. Let me know if you have any questions about this, about the Nikon D5200, and I would be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.